All right. All right. So, I know... I don't know where we left off, but um, let me tell you what, what I'd like to do, and you guys could tell me if this makes sense for us or not, okay? Okay, cool. So, first of all, we need to figure out a way to get deeper. So we need titanium ingot and glass. This is my plan. We upgrade some of our stuff so we can go deeper. Uh, engine efficiency might be cool, but I don't know what polyaniline is. Hull reinforcement might be cool. Oh, wait. Calorie intake recommended. If I... Preemptively hardens the chassis before collision, eliminating damage under normal conditions. <laughs> Did you guys hear that squeak? Ah, <laughs> yeah. oh, Dexter. What are you doing, buddy? He's probably the one ruining everything. He's doing it. Um, eliminating damage under normal conditions. So maybe we should get this depth thing. And then we should get the hull reinforcement. That would be pretty Welcome ideal, aboard, I think. All systems online. Then, uh, we need to build... What was the other thing I wanted to build? It was like... Uh, survivor. It was... A deployable, this creature decoy. So we want to build uh, this so that we can try and get to the Aurora. I think that's a good thing. I think that would be ideal. Does that make sense, guys? Like, what I'm thinking? Does that, does that make sense to you? I hope it does. I hope it makes sense. Sounds like a plan. Okay, cool. I think that works. I think that works. So, uh, let's make a list. Let's make a list of things we need to do. And then in the- Lubricant On the way, essential. we can, uh, we can maybe find some other stuff, too. So, let's get our- let's get our list together. One of them was a titanium ingot. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems So, online. titanium ingot, we need, like, tons of titanium. Titanium times one million. Cool. We need glass times two, so we need what? That's four quartz, I think. Uh, the hull reinforcement, so we need uh, lithium and diamond times four, which isn't bad. Oh, the other thing we want, there's a... Uh, is it the repulsion cannon? Is it the repulsion cannon? Oh no, propulsion. Sorry, we gotta start with propulsion cannon. Right here. So wiring kit, battery, and titanium. I'm gonna like die here while I'm organizing. Uh... Silver ore. For wiring. Batteries, easy. But we need copper ore. We need a bunch of stuff. We need a bunch of stuff. Cause this was new. Also the stasis rifle. But I think that's a good plan. I think that's a good plan. Congratulations, survivor. What do you guys think? I think that's okay, actually. Sorry, I'm kind of ignoring some of the alerts and stuff right now. My bad. I'm gonna I'm gonna fix that in a second. I'm a little bit flustered, but it's okay. We gotta cook this peeper because if we don't, I'm gonna die. I think the first thing we need to do is just cook some food, eat some water, so that we're not uh, dead. That that's probably a wise decision. Vital signs stabilizing. <laughs> hey, Magic Monkey Juice. Thank you guys for coming. I appreciate it. Sorry about the technical issues that we had. Hopefully, that is fixed. Hopefully, that's fixed. Um, okay. So, uh, Twin Silver Dragon, thank you so much for the new sub, man. That's really kind. Uh, Minotaro, thank you for the five months. He says, only four months till our sub, baby. I, by this point, the fetus is probably... Survivor. How much would the fetus weigh at, at four months? Five months. It would be like... Would it be like two pounds? Seek Maybe? Intake. Might be like two pounds. Um... Hopefully... Hopefully we make it there, buddy. All systems are go for lift off. <laughs> uh, Broken Mayhem, thank point. you so much for the if new sub. Tao Shazla, thanks for the donation. Says Peeper, best NPC in Divinity 2, FYI. Odd uh, Dexter. Good luck today. Shout out to my buddy Dutch Alex. You got it, buddy. There you go. Tao Shazla, you're kicking ass in XCOM 2, by the way. Fire Knight, thank you for the new $10 sub. Wow. You guys are so, so, so generous today. Uh, Falstro, thanks for the 420. I know you got to go to bed. Thanks for coming, buddy. For lift off. 
Uh, it, in Tosley, the Jammin. Thank you so much for the Prime sub. Same with Hydra Gaming. And lastly, Falster gifted a sub to Magic Monkey Juice. Thank you guys, I really appreciate it. Uh, sorry, you caught me at a, at a weird time because I'm a bit flustered that my streams started out like that. And it kind of freaked me out. But uh, it seems okay. It seems okay. Okay, we need to collect, we need some salt and uh, some coral reef, or we just need some some uh, bladder fish. I guess I could have turned on my scanner. We'll grab some food as well. Peepers are my favorite After meal, as you guys contact, know. It is normal to experience psychological discomfort. Here's some bladder fish. I wonder, do you guys know, does the game kind of, uh, like, does it know, can it say, hey, we can tell that you are Communications gonna die from, like, water or whatever. Oxygen. And then, will it actually give us the stuff that we need? Human contact, do you know what I'm saying? To experience psychological discomfort. <laughs> You guys are like really, really kind today. Thank you so All much. Systems are go. Thank you so much. Off. Have a pleasant flight. If you survive. Uh, Crystal Vane says, Man, I'm so into living vicariously through your Subnautica Let's Plays. If I had to play this by myself, I'd be swimming in my own piss far too often. <laughs> That's scary. That's very scary. In my experience, no, it won't help you. Died of dehydration looking for bladders. Damn. Okay. Let's get back and eat this. I don't see any salt, unfortunately. This is not where I want to be. I always like, uh, it takes me about 30 solid minutes of Subnautica to really like sink into things again. And, uh, like, I don't know about you guys, but because it's so, there's so much going on that you start to, like, you build up a bit of a rhythm for, uh, for the game. Okay, let's go. Recommend cleaning your bags before you go hunting for resources. Good idea. I can do that. Malinosin, great call. Okay, let's eat. And let's drink. Vital signs stabilizing. Oh. That's so good. That's so good. All right. Let's uh, take down one of these bad boys. We'll store some of these. We can put the lead in here. This is basically just lead storage now. Uh, let's go check our other locker before we head out. I might even want to consider... Uh, we need quartz, but I might have quartz in here. Weeks, Do I ever? Human contact, it is normal to experience psychological discomfort. Okay. Check this out. Guys, we're like, we're human basically on trading spaces now. You guys probably don't know what that is. Uh, but that's okay. Now where... Can we rename these? I wish we could rename these. This one's all of our titanium. This one's a whole bunch of other good stuff. We have some silver ore here, which is actually good. Uh, but what we need is diamond. We need quite a bit of diamond. We need a lot more titanium. We need copper. And we have a bunch of quartz, actually. We have a bunch of quartz. You can only rename wall lockers? Oh, man. There's more than... Oh, wall locker. Small wall mounted. Oh. Alright. The good news is, is like, even if we, um... Even like, what we build in here is not essential, we can eventually tear this all down, and we're gonna move it to some other sweet-ass location. And I'm pretty excited about that. Uh... Fabricator... Titanium gold and table coral. I think... I talked about building this. But I don't think we actually got to building it, did we? This is like the vehicle upgrade console. So maybe on here, uh, because we're going to need diamond. 
communications systems uh -oh. array active. Can I not find What's a I feel like there used to be like three pages here. I wonder if I have to upgrade this to find better stuff. The drone enhances the range, the speed. Huh. Is there a, Can I not find diamond on here? Hey, Siphoner, what's up, dude? Only available I Oh! So it's only gonna show me what's in the area of my scanner. That, uh, that obviously makes... That makes a lot of sense. Okay. Okay, not bad. That's okay, though. It's not the end of the world. Jeez, guys, I can't even keep up. Um... In Tozley, the J Man, uh, Magic Monkey Juice, Hydra Gaming, Fox Dad. Thank you so much for the Prime subs, you guys. That's really cool. Uh, Stobby, thanks for the five boxes. Hey, thank you so much for the recent raids on my humble channel. You and your viewers are the best. You guys rock. You're having a you're having a great channel, Stobby. If you guys want to check out good entertainment, check out Stobby, okay? He's uh really solid. It doesn't always show what's available, it's random? Oh, okay. That's weird. Uh, Akalamashari and Swale, thank you guys both for the sub. Swale, thanks for the three months. That's amazing. Vinny gifted a sub to professional streamer Kappa. <laughs> Shut Vinny, Jesus Christ. Uh, Thaw King, Trampage, thank you guys for the subs. Dutch Four Alex, thanks for the donation. Jeez, Beneath you guys. Off. I can't even keep and up. A pleasant flight, if you survive. <sighs> Dutch Alex, thanks for the donation. Says, got you a vinyl version of Mr. Davalina for the odd P.O. box. What? Are you serious? Oh, I can't wait. That's amazing. Hi, Zonder. Hi, Zonder. What's up, man? That's amazing. I can't wait to see that. Oh, that's going to blow my mind, dude. That's so cool. Uh, the Gunner, thanks for the four months, says, I went into this game just like you, almost completely blind, and just like you, it blew me away. Love seeing you explore this awesome ocean, seeing you react to it all. Keep it up, dude. Thanks, man. Uh, and Broco, thanks for gifting a sub to Warlord Moa. That's, that's amazing. You guys are so, you guys are so nice to me, honestly. I feel like I don't deserve it most of the time, to be fair. Thank you, guys. Okay. Uh, you know what? Let's... Let's store a couple of other things here. Sorry, I just gotta kinda get, like... I gotta get some of my shit together a little bit here, you know? We're gonna store the fire Your extinguisher. For lift off. Have a pleasant flight. We needed this survive. one piece of lithium, so we have that. We have the quartz. We have the silver ore, I believe. What we're short on is diamond and a little bit of copper and then a bunch of titanium. Hey, Swarm, thanks for the two months, man. Says, finally taking a short break from rewatching all your Witcher content. <laughs> thanks, dude. I'm glad you could come out here. Thanks, guys. How upset would I be if you sent elephant poop to my P.O. box? I mean,. I would- I would say like a decent- like a- like an 8 on 10 probably, because that would be really rude. <laughs> that would be not- that would be not very nice. Okay, metal salvage is what we want, right? Or does titanium? I think so. And then that's gonna stream it to our HUD, we have this enabled. Beautiful. Ion cubes, well, I missed a lot. Yeah, we found these ion cubes in these weird, uh, like, alien frickin' towers. It's pretty wild. Man, we actually have a decent amount of copper here, too. Really what we need is diamond, but unfortunately I can't scan for it. Let's take a shortcut to the Seamoth. Okay. <gasps> this is so sick. This is so cool. Alright, one last thing I'm gonna check before we- I almost just killed myself, didn't I? One last thing I'm gonna check before we actually get going, guys. I'm gonna check my, uh, salt- my salt locker. 
And we're gonna make some water real quick, and then we're out of here. Congratulations, survivor. Uh, Alekha Meshari, thank you so much for the bits. And Vinny, thanks for gifting a sub to Glass Frost. Wow, look at Vinny being all generous today. That's amazing. Thanks, man. I really appreciate you guys bearing with me through those technical problems. That's the worst. That is the freaking worst. Lubricant is essential. I was just gonna say, like, maybe I should just build this lubricant since we're here. Uh, so good, we'll build that for you. Thanks, man. Thawking, thank you so much for the donation, bro. That's amazing. Uh, greetings from Iceland. It's fucking cold outside, and I just want to stay inside and watch your stream. Well, you can you can do that. You know, you're the boss of you, and I think it's authorized. All right. Oh, that's so good. Okay, is there anything that can lead, like, the lubricant? I don't even know if we have space anymore. Not really. I'll put the lubricant in our miscellaneous. And we'll just remember it, okay? Because we have a great memory. No diamond in here, but... Uh... Yeah, okay. So we're gonna go out, we're gonna grab some of this salvage. And then, I'm gonna maybe try and go a little bit deeper and try to find, a uh, diamond somewhere. And then once we get all those upgrades we were talking about, uh, then we're gonna try and get to the Aurora, I think. Jules is saying, hey, sorry I haven't shipped your odd doll yet. I've been preoccupied trying to take care of my cat and forgot to go to the mail. Don't worry about it. I can't wait to see it, though. It looks outstanding. Uh, let's not piss that thing off. I like that these guys just kind of like... We just follow these guys. We're golden. I think that might have pissed them off. You can breach the moon pool using the sea glide? Oh yeah, some of you guys were saying that if you go, um... Here, let's see it. Let's see what happens if we breach, like, flying straight up as fast as we can. Seems good. <laughs> Do I have the vinyl deck or gramophone for that vinyl odd? This would be a sick thing to show at the start of the stream. Uh, I do have a, a record player. Absolutely. I used to have it hooked up to my computer, actually. Um, and I was able to, like, put it through to the stream and I would just play records sometimes. I guess I should dock this, right? Get into the habit. Uh, Fatimir, you didn't miss much, buddy. Honestly, you didn't miss much. Uh... You missed some technical issues. Aside from that... Nothing. Okay. Uh, let's see how much space we have. Not a lot, but we can start to grab some of the copper, I think. And maybe some of the quartz. Let's do the copper first. Because I think we need to make wiring. And then we should have enough to actually build up everything that we need here. Hey, Nathan James, not much, man. What's going on with you? Okay, so let's start breaking this down. We need to turn uh, a set of these into ingots. I haven't seen the editing console in the moon pool, has he? Uh... I don't know what the editing console is. So, no. <laughs> I 
FYI, you can make a fabricator in your base. Yeah, that's one of the things that we want to be making out of this little uh, batch of things. Okay, so let's get it together here. Propulsion cannon. Let's just grab this now. We need a battery, which we already have, and a wiring kit, which is, I believe... Uh, okay, two silver ore. Do I have space? Yeah. It's close enough now where I don't have to worry about building the fabricator, I don't think. Oh, actually it's cheap. Maybe it would just be better to pop one in here. Let's grab this. We'll grab a couple of these. Hey, Celso, what's up, man? How are you? Okay. We can do the wiring kit. And then just like that, we have enough for this propulsion cannon. Warps gravity to pull and push objects. This seems pretty important. There was a couple places we ran into where uh, we couldn't get behind the boxes, so we had to, like, we can access what was behind them. So this should help. Uh, it takes up a lot of space, though. Warps gravity to push and pull objects. Oh! That's cool. Oh, I don't even think- I don't think that's actually doing- <laughs> Hold on a second. Uh, what would be something we could test this on? We do it with this, maybe? Oh, yeah. Oh, cool. Okay. Okay. Guys, we have a propulsion cannon. Propulsion cannon. Ready. Alright, what was the other thing now we wanted to build? So that's good. We wanted to upgrade our Seamoth. Uh, we need glass times two. That's easy, we can do that here. And if I had to guess, uh, we probably need to go back to... the Seamoth upgrade area. Launch a peeper? I, I wouldn't do that to the peepers, man. That's... That's just rude. I would never do that. The worst I do to those guys is eat them. Oh, so sick. Alright. Let's pop it in here. Crush depth's now three- oh, so it's like a hundred meters difference. That's good, though, because, uh, I remember, I think it was at the, um, what was that base? It was, like, a possible location for something. And, uh, it was, like, at 250 meters. We could go to, we could go to 200, and we had to stop. But this might help us access the one that's at 500 meters. If we go down to 300 and then swim the rest, we might be okay, but also might kill me. I'm not sure if that's, uh, I'm not sure if that's an issue. Now, one thing I, I would like some clarification on... Oh, what's the depth too? Plasteel. Yeah, okay, we don't have that yet. Magnetite and enameled glass. And the enameled glass is, I think, glass and the tooth, if I'm not mistaken. <sighs> okay. Man, I think we need... Oh, there's so many things that we need. So many things. Okay, so we don't have the diamond. That's not top priority. Storage module might be good. A storage mod module could actually be really nice.
Lithium. There we go. Let me grab my salt deposits as well. Uh, am I missing something in my moon pool? Is that what you guys are saying? Some people are saying to explore the moon pool. Oh! Oh! <laughs> okay. Guys, what do we- what do we name- what do we name the Seamoth? What do we name the Seamoth? Thumpier, what's up, man? <laughs> uh, we could call this maybe Deep Sea Dex- Oh, it doesn't fit. Sea Dex, it's not bad. The Dex Moth, not bad. <laughs> kind of like the Big Peeper. <laughs> Deep sea decks. A deep sea decks can work. Deep sea decks. How about uh, Dexter's peeper? Done. <laughs> Jesus, Jesus Christ! What have we done? And we can change. Oh, my oh, look at it! Look at it! Oh my God! What have we done? You have got to be kidding. Okay, well, guys, I'm just going to do this for like... I'm going to do this for the next... 35 minutes? Give or take? Some, I need something that I can see underwater easily. <laughs> that's what I really need. I want like a darker yellow. Oh, that's not bad. We could put a racing stripe on this bad boy. Let's just go yellow and black. And then the interior. You know what, let's just do black here too. Oh, look at it. Look at it! It's- Oh, it even writes the name! All locally sourced herbs ah. and alien plants. Dexter's Peeper! Are you kidding me? That is incredible, you guys. This is the best. <laughs> oh, Reaper Leviathan, thanks so much for the donation. Says, hey dude, I just wanted a hug, hence the big grabbing arms. Sorry if that was mistaken for an attack. Come back, I'm so lonely. Hugs. It, the Reaper is that thing that we saw out by the Aurora, right? That big giant thing that like came out of the darkness to almost kill us. I think that's what it was. Looks like a deep sea bumblebee. That looks like deep sea Dexter's Welcome Peeper. Aboard. Captain, all systems the, the DSDP. The DSDP is what it is. I wish you could change the font, because that doesn't really, like, scream, you know, intimidating. Unless you can. I don't think you can. That is freaking awesome, guys. Let me tell you. Alright, now. Let's see if we can upgrade Dexter's Peeper with... The storage module. Oh, that's so good. It's so- it's just... It's so good. So now, how do I access it? How do I access the storage module? Oh. Okay, it's not bad. It's not bad. 16 slots. Okay. This is not bad. This is not bad. Now, the other thing that we wanted to make... I think we should try and get a, the higher capacity tank. We actually need to build a modification station, don't we? Computer chip, titanium, diamond, and lead. The only thing we don't have is the computer chip. Um. 
Yeah, you put it outside. Oh, yeah, we could maybe put the- we could put the cameras in there. That's not a bad idea. That's not a bad idea, actually. Okay. So for the modification station, computer chip, diamond, lead. We have diamond- uh, do we have any more diamond? Don't know that I have any more diamond. I'm gonna store the rest of our titanium here. Oh, I do have. I have one more diamond, and I think we might have lead in the miscellaneous one. Put the quartz back. The copper ore I might need for the computer chip. Gold and copper wire. So I'll take this. This is for the copper wire, the gold, and the table coral sample. That's easy enough to get. And then all we would need is the lead, which I think we have. I'll check into Plasteel in a second. Uh, I'll check into Plasteel in a sec. Miscellaneous, let's check this. Lead. Okay, cool. Yeah, we got it. So I just need table coral samples, which are right over here. I can't- I actually can't believe how much stuff we've built already today. This is- this is great. Oh, I have to go back and build my... computer chip. I'm definitely seeing the appeal of having everything in one, like, sweet, compacted base. And we'll get there. Okay, so we need copper wire. Computer chip. And then we should be good. I can pick up titanium in the other room, which is where I'm gonna build this bad boy. <sighs> Did you guys know that swimming is good for your glutes and endorphin levels? I don't know if you knew that, but it, it's true. Okay, so where- does this have to go like... Oh, it just goes on the ground. Okay. Can I put it, uh... Oh, you could put it... anywhere. What if I put it right in the middle? And I surround it with lockers. We can always move it. Jesus. There's so Now there's just so much stuff. High capacity O2 tank. Which I already have. So then technically... I just need lithium times four. That I definitely don't have. But I think that's like top priority. Same with fins actually. So we need a bunch of lithium. Cyclops upgrade, Seamoth, Plasteel ingots. Lubricant is essential. Also, lubricant is essential, if you haven't noticed. Kyanite? Man, there's just so much stuff. There's just so much stuff that you can do, it's actually insane. Uh, Vinny, thanks for gifting a sub over to Ducus Maximus, man. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Um, buh, bite me, thanks for the donation, says Gratz, I'm going full-time odd, looking forward to the Aurora exploration and the inevitable drinking streams. <laughs> I don't know if there's going to be drinking streams. I don't, I'm not a big drinker, to be honest with you. Mademoiselle Danielle, thanks for the donation, says T-minus 10 days. It's actually, the way that I count it is in, like, working days. So, technically, to me, it's like, it's like, 
eight days. It's like eight days. Okay, so lithium. It's, we need lithium and we need uh, a battery, which is fine. I have a whole bunch of empty batteries, I think. I hope you guys don't mind this kind of stuff. Like, I actually, I find this rather calming, if you will. I rather enjoy this. Batteries. Boom. Totally a relaxing, enjoyable stream. Nice. Good. Man, we'll be cooking peepers like they're going out of style. All day. Cooks and sterilizes small organisms for immediate consumption. So you should attack them? You don't have to grab them anymore? Or do you grab them and it... Probably not. You probably have to attack them. Right? <laughs> Smithy says, not only do I mind, do I not mind, I'm actually really pleased to see you taking the time to organize and centralize your storage. Order can be calming. Oh, you're so right. You're so right. I would love to just, like, get this whole base organized one day. That would be, that's like the dream scenario. Okay. The hunt for lithium has begun. And more lithium. So technically we need like five lithium. All systems are go for lift off. Is that right, On Atlas? Flight, if you survive. I don't know if you're gonna make it, Atlas. Good luck though. Frick, lithium's not on here. Can we find lithium in one of the outcrops? Shale. I don't have shale outcrops here either. It's really weird because we used to have three pages on here. I'm almost convinced. I'm almost convinced. So without knowing where lithium is, we kind of just have to go, like, cruising. Right? What I could do in the meantime, though, is build... Build the creature decoy. Wiring kit and titanium. Let's see how much more silver I have. I have enough to build one. I have enough to build one. After weeks without human contact, it is normal to experience psychological discomfort. Gold and table coral. You know what? I'm just going to do that. Congratulations, survivor. We're moving it in there, boys. Okay? We're- th we're getting things organized. It's- it's coming together real nice. It's coming together real nice. Look at this blade. Oh. Sizzle. Sizzle. So nice. So- <laughs> Uh, kick, uh, kick ass of awesomeness says, So I know where lithium can be, but I don't know if you've been to the certain place where it's plentiful. It's a bit spoilery. Yeah, no, don't tell me then. Thank- uh, You know what? I love that you did that. Thank you so much for, like, asking. Instead of just, like, telling me like that. That's actually really great. Thank you, bro. Okay, wiring kit. And then I think it's... Plasteel ingot is... Oh, here we go. 
Titanium ingot plus li we need lithium. We need tons of lithium. So that'll come in uh I'm sure at some point we're gonna find that. What was I gonna build? Oh yeah, that beacon. The creature decoy. Alright. Got it. Okay, we have successfully built- Oh, it gives us three! Can be de deployed by hand or by submarine and cannot be- Oh, cool. I did not know that it was going to give us three. I had no idea. Okay, let's leave these samples in here. Let's, uh, let's go and grab a couple of fish. Leave the lubricant as well. Maybe a first aid. Uh, we need the radiation helmet. I could take our cameras with us, I guess, and put them in the Seamoth. I don't know, is that that good? I'm gonna leave them here for now. So I'm gonna grab a couple of fish and so I can use up that salt. Or maybe I should use the salt for water and I can just eat fish as I'm going. Maybe that's what I should do. Use the salt for bleach. And then let's see what happens here when we... Let's see how this works. Cooked- Oh, he just- that's it! He's a cooked peeper at that point. Oh. This is so nice. Well, I, and it's bad for the peepers, but it's so good for us. Poor guy. What a way to go. You're just like... Instantly cooked. I guess that's like, maybe not so bad, considering. If you think about it, the other way is like, we grab them, they get stuck in our little case for who knows the frick how long. And then, uh... Whoops. And then they're like, waiting around, like, what's gonna happen to me? Am I gonna make it into like, a sweet little aquarium, or... Or what's, what's going on? And then, all of a sudden, no, they're... They're food. Anyways. So maybe this is... Maybe this is the more humane way of doing things. Okay. Uh, I'll check my survival pod for uh, lithium. Yeah, sure. Um, Atlas Wolf, thank you so much for the sub, buddy. Thank you so much. And uh, same with KNVB. And oh, and then, then Atlas Wolf upped his sub to the medium one. Thank you, guys. Thank you, dude. That's really cool. Dinner to go. Yeah. It's so cool, man. You know, one of my favorite parts, I haven't talked about this, um, one of my favorite parts of this game so far. Oh, we kind of missed it. The, the, uh, sunrise and sunset. All systems are go for liftoff. Like, how Have cool is that? Flight. Oh! You survived. This game, man. It's so good. It's so good. Can you drink bleach? No. You turn it into water. You turn it into water. Let's drop these now. I almost feel like, am I carrying too many supplies at all times? Like... I'm gonna be out of battery soon. I need to build a battery thing. There's so many things I want to do. Alright. Well... We can, uh, go on the hunt for lithium. But I think what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna attempt to get over to the, uh, to the Aurora. If we review... We don't have a lot of, um... This one we did, right? Life Pod 13? Yeah, oh no, yeah, we did that. Proposed to Gazi Habitat, we did. 
The deep one we haven't been to yet. Possible base location. That's fine. We don't have any uh, signals that we haven't checked except for this one. But that might be too deep for us. Right? My, uh, my only worry is that, like... Well, that big thing out there. I don't know if we have to, like... If we have to distract it or if we have to do something more permanent to it. Something's beeping. It's not this. Yeah, we can store uh, our food and water in here. That's a good idea. We'll store our first aid, too. Uh, we'll keep one on our persons, just in case. And maybe one... One water, just in case we take off. Welcome aboard, Captain. Well, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. We're gonna see if we can get to this Degazi habitat. And along the way, let's see if we find any new, uh... New locations. We're going deeper, boys. We can go down to 300 meters now. <laughs> That's so cool. It was, uh, what was it? Shale? Shale outcrops. Sedimentary rock is formed from flakes of clay minerals, inside of which rare metals can, uh, such as lithium can be found. Geological conditions on this planet mean it tends to be found in deeper biomes. Okay, so we're going deep, so this is good. I, I wonder what the deepest you can go is. And, like, don't tell me. Don't tell me. But I do... I do wonder that. Hello. Uh, one thing I would like to know, if you guys would be so kind. Um, is there an upgrade that I can get for the Seamoth so that I can grab stuff without getting out of it? Is that a thing? No, there isn't? Okay. Oh, you know what I could- you know what I could do? I could store our habitat builder back at base because... There's no point in me having it. Out here. I think we've explored this wreck. Actually, yeah, we have. Because this is open. Okay. Who's hungry? Not this guy. Oh, this is- this is such a huge, like... This is such a huge quality of life improvement. Do I think building a scanner room in the Grand Reef is a good idea? I don't even know what the Grand Reef is, but... <laughs> because you asked me, probably... <laughs> I'm assuming that it probably is a good idea. Maybe that's what I should do, is get down to that 300 meter depth or so. And then build a- just build a scanner room. The only problem is power. Like, how do I... How do I... I'd have to build some alternative form of power. Because I'm assuming that the uh, solar panel would not work. 
Let me take a look here. Titanium, magnetite, and aerogel. Aerogel comes from those little, uh... Those little filtery things, right? Do I have a place that shows me where aerogel is? Hmm. Thermal reactor? Yeah, is that what I was looking at? Probably. Yeah, thermal plant? Is it the thermal plant? I think I think that's what you're saying. Bioreactor, compost, organic matter into electrical energy. That seems easier to build, but then I probably have to go and like collect a bunch of fish and throw it in there. Yeah, there's the bioreactor, so I get that. But would the thermal plant not be better? Because I don't have to do, like, anything. It seems like it just kind of makes... Converts heat to energy. Alright, we'll see. Man, we're already reaching 300. This this stuff intimidates me. When we start getting this deep, it's quite uh, quite scary. Warning: maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. Jesus, Louisus. Make sure we have, like, a slight upward trajectory. I honestly don't know if we can make it down that far, but I'd like to see what happens. Uh, yeah, we've got the sea moth. Or the, uh, sea glide in the right slot. I'm just looking, like, where would I even go here? Hey, let's park it. Warning. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. Yeah, we can we can repair it. Holy, we're actually okay. Wow. Oh, we need this for aerogel. Okay, so this is going to be the limiting factor here. Is our is our air capacity. This might be a little bit out of our wheelhouse, I think. Cuz even to do any like reasonable exploring down there, I don't think that's going to happen. Okay, so we definitely... We definitely need to upgrade our capacity. Um, which I think we're near being able to do with that gel sack. If I'm not mistaken. Oh, the f the freaking lithium. <laughs> it's the lithium that we need. We know that this isn't it, but we'll take that anyway.
Oh, I bet you this. Shale. Boom! Uraniite? Or uranite? What the f Guys, we are finding some super weird stuff down here. Let's go store some stuff on the, uh, on the peeper. Man, that's so cool. I, uh, this is like the greatest, man. This is so cool. Okay, let's store all of this. Actually, we can even, uh, oh, let's just drink this. So we needed quite a bit of lithium. And we seem to have found a little patch. Or at least we found some of the uh, shale outcrops. I am going to be out of batteries on my flashlight though. Isn't great. Diamond? Oh, boys. Have we hit the mother load? Oh. I just get like a little bit more turned on every time we see lithium. Yeah, this freaks me out actually. Being in deep, like, in tight spaces like this? Oh. Yeah, I'm probably going to die down here, if I'm not careful. Diamond. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, am I lost? <laughs> Shit! The Dexter's Peeper! <laughs> wow. Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay. Oh, yeah, I have to scan that new stuff too, don't I? Now, here's a question. If I drop it... Oh, there we go. Let's, let's check this out. A naturally occurring... Naturally occurring uh, uranium oxide. Highly radioactive and unstable. Its primary use is in the production of uranium reactor rods for nuclear generators. Okay. 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 This is good. This is good. We still need way more lithium. To my count, I think we need at least five. Now, maybe I don't need to go deeper. I can just check out more of the uh, tunnels. There we go. I guess we'll grab this. Son of a bitch. We're gonna need that for batteries. Oh, I don't think that's our path. Shit, again? Maybe that is our path.
I could use this just for the light, I guess. It's really difficult to see, though. Like, it is really difficult to see. You know what I'm going to do? Let me uh, take my battery out of here. And we'll throw it into this one. Ah, oh, seriously? Let's drop this creature egg. That's taken up way too much space. Look at this down here, you guys. Like, what is this? This is incredible. How much do I gotta pay a guy to get some lithium around here, though? Okay, frick, how do I get out of here? Shit! Oh, I'm so uncomfortable in here. Fuck, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die in here! No, I'm not! Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. I hate this! This is so freaky, man. <laughs> this is so freaky. What is that? Oh, is that one of those things that we saw by the alien base? <laughs> this is freaky, dudes. I don't- I do not like being in that cave. Can I not, like, search the perimeter of this? Like, could that not be a thing that we do, or...? the frick? Whoa, what? Oh, this is that, uh, this is the, uh, uh, Jesus. This is that, uh, teleporter thingy that, uh, uh, where is it? Warper. That's what this thing is. Fuck. That's what that is, right? Have I encountered the sunbeam? Uh, well, we were waiting for it to land. And then, uh... Something shot it out of the sky. We've got a message. <laughs> We've got a message. <sighs> Thank the Lord. I'm just looking for more shale outcrops, and then we'll go home and check the message, because... Jesus. What the fuck was that? What was that? I am a little bit freaked out, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm a little tense. If, I don't know if you can tell, I don't know why. Could be the coffee, just throwing that out there. I don't know why, man, but this is just the- this is the greatest- This is just the greatest- This is just the best. I so badly need to try this in VR. Oh my god. Just to, like, swim around and not, like, do anything. But just to swim around for a bit. I think that would be so cool. Shit, 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 shit.
God damn it. <sighs> Doom Koi, thank you for the bi Come on! What? Hold on. Hold on. Get me away from this thing. Get me away from this thing. What a pain in the ass. Jeez, man. Okay, so there's quartz all over this area. You know what I'm gonna do? Uh, lith, quartz, etc. Now let me see if I can find an entrance to this place again. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. Okay. Uh, Doomquoi says, wanted to try this bits thing out. Enjoy. Working on some homework and your screams of terror humor me as I draw. <laughs> Frick. I don't- I haven't been, like, super scared that much, but, like, this area, going into these caves, like, I don't know what it is, it's just that, like, enclosed, dark, underground space, I just- I'm not a huge fan of that, to be honest with you. Uh, Joe Lee, thanks for the bits as well, says this game is deep. Good pun. Good pun. Jazzy, have a good one, okay? Hopefully you're feeling better. Uh, Tri Nitro is new here, guys. How's it going, Tri Nitro? We have a, um... We have a new thing for that. I'll, let me show you. What the frick? There we go. Check that out. Okay. Uh, Congratulations, survivor. <laughs> Whoa, Magic Cat. What is up? Magic Cat, 27 months. Wow, dude. Thank you so much, Magic Cat. That's incredible. Thank you so much. Oh yeah, save. Okay, good. Congratulations, survivor. Oh, there you go. Try Nitro's new here and just sub. Thank you, man. That's so kind. Thank you, bro. Okay. Jeez, scared the hell out of me. <laughs> Guys, I'm on edge, okay? I'm on edge. Oh wait, this is a new thing. Isn't it? Oh, maybe not. No, I don't think that's new. Okay, let's not get turned around here, okay? I hear that goddamn alien outside. It's really starting to grind my gears. If he shows up in here, I swear, like, it's over for me. Is lithium the rare one? Like, is that what's happening? Is lithium the one that's rare? How do I get so turned around in here all the time? Where's my, uh... Oh, Jesus. I can't, I can't help it, you guys. I'm getting, like, panicky in these tunnels. It's, uh, really, it's really unsettling. It's really unsettling. Okay, I'm gonna make another couple of runs in here. And then we're out. Uh, what can I drop? You know what? Maybe we just go back? I think we're gonna go home. I'm too full on, like, a bunch of good stuff, so let's just go home. <laughs> uh, Nisu, thank you so much for the thousand bits. That's awesome. Thank you so much. 
Uh, Black Morakai, thank you for the 70 bits with the with the lot of tiny pyramids. Thank you, buddy. And uh, Charlie Pryor, thank you so much for the three months. Thank you. All right, guys, we're floating home. We're done with the tunnels, okay? It's too it's too like anxiety ridden for me. Mind taking a break in 10 minutes for the SpaceX conference? Is that in 10 minutes? Is uh, Elon Musk speaking? I saw the... Uh, I saw the uh, launch earlier. All systems are go. Lift off. Uh, Have a pleasant flight if you survive. <laughs> uh, kick ass of awesomeness. I do have the Seamoth storage and it is full right now with a bunch of stuff. So, we're gonna go back. We're gonna dump this stuff. I might be able to upgrade something. How much lithium do I have here? I only have three. There was something that we could have built with one. But uh, we'll go and empty our base. We'll check our message at the radio terminal. And then we'll go from there. Hey, Judge Burtis. What's up, Judge? How are you, man? Oh, I'm full. Jeez, that's right. I gotta ditch this stuff first. Oh, maybe I do have an extra one in the... in the, uh, peeper storage. We'll check. Listen to this. I love this tune. It's a perfect fit. This one we want for just titanium. Okay. What was it that we said we were going to build here? Oh, you know what? I am going to build another locker so I can get a little bit more organized. Okay, so now, I think it warrants having separate locker for titanium and probably quartz at this point. Or maybe we'll do something like uh, quartz and copper. We could sort it kind of by rarity almost. So this one's like all of our super rare stuff. Uh, copper, silver, quartz can come with us. Gold, diamond, lithium, etc. can stay in here. And then we have that tablet as well. I think that works. I think that works. Uh, I, I think that I am wasting space carrying these. You're totally not wrong. You're totally not wrong. I'm absolutely wasting space. Let me get it, uh, let me get it so sorted out, okay? 
I will. We also need to make some batteries because some of our stuff is running low before we head out again. Well, that's not what I wanted. Ah, uh, we do have another lithium in here. Beautiful. Take the gel sack. Now, ultra high capacity... So we have enough for the ultra high capacity tank, guys. I think we gotta do it. I think we gotta do it. I love that thudding when you run through here, it's so good. Uh, so here, it's gonna come from here. So we have enough for the ultra high capacity. Gold here. Titanium. You know what I really like? I like that it sorts it automatically in here. That's super cool. I think I have to take this off first. Doing it. Oh, I'm so happy. Look at the oxygen difference! What? That's amazing. I wonder All if that's the highest we can go. For lift off. Have a pleasant flight. If you survive. I wonder if that's the highest that we can go. Plasteel ingot, magnetite, which we have. Enameled glass, which I think we can make. We have the stalker tooth and we can make glass pretty easily. And then we just <laughs> we just need more freaking lithium. Aerogel, that's where we build it. Gel sack and a ruby. Tell you what. Let's do that now. Uh, hold on. Advanced materials. How do I build this? Ah! Done. Done. All systems are go for lift off. Have a pleasant flight. If uh, you survive. What's the thing about, uh... He mentioned the storage module earlier, and I was trying to let him know that it stacks. What? Are you telling me? Are you telling me that I can build? Oh. oh. I can I can outfit this thing with like multiple storage things. Oh, I'm so rock hard happy right now. That is so awesome. That's really cool. I don't really consider that, like, uh... I don't consider that spoilery. In my opinion. Vojinoi, what's up, buddy? How are you, man? <laughs> Your Twitch is bugged and there's no volume or pause button? Try a different browser. Maybe. Okay. Uh, this- I think this one, we're gonna use for, like... Stuff and things. So we'll put our habitat builder in here for now because until we're going out to build, we don't need it. And when we're going to build, it's going to be here. So the rest of this stuff. There's our medium. There's our titanium. This is our rare stuff in here. Uh, we're going to need to make some batteries quick. And then we're going to go find more lithium. Copper ore. Whoops. Let's take three of these, let's go get a bunch of mushrooms, and let's make some batteries. How do I get the gel sack? I just found it. I found, like, they're pretty rare, I think, because I accidentally threw one out one time, and it was an accident. I, I don't know if we can eat that thing, but I tried. Uh... Mushrooms, mushrooms, mushrooms. Yeah, so the gel sacks I just found. I mean... They seem to be in really deep locations, as far as I can tell.
I have a, a, a battery storage locker that I'll eventually get this stuff figured out. This thing, I, I don't even know what I can do with that anymore. Empty batteries. Eventually we'll build a charging station. Seems like a pretty good idea. Might be time to build the battery charger. Yeah, <laughs> that's yeah, exactly. That's kind of what I was thinking. Oh, we have a lithium in here. That's our that's another storage thing right there. And I've got another gel sack too. Okay. And we have a bunch of lead here. I should move this to the other uh to the other part. Yep. Same with the gold, ion cubes. Acid mushrooms. We can- we'll- we'll dump these things because we can always just get them whenever we need to. Okay, let's listen to this. Then let's get some water. This is life pod 2 coordinates attached. Oh yeah. We're way past our safe depth and bleeding O2. Mm. We'll have to swim for the surface, but it's 500 meters straight up. Ah, frick! 500 we'll meters! We'll make rendezvous and keep you posted. Oh, actually. Signal location uploaded to that's, PDA. That's cool. That's cool because... We can probably get down there now with our extra oxygen. We can probably get down there with our extra oxygen. So that's not bad. The other thing we could try is once we get... ...another depth module... We have the magnetite, we can make the glass... The plasteel ingot is the only thing, and that requires a titanium ingot, which is fine. And then more lithium. So once we just get, like, one more lithium, actually... Oh, we'll go for two, because we're gonna get more storage here. Um... Then we can go even deeper. Okay, what's in here right now? Oh, Jesus, just... See, we kind of just have stuff, like, everywhere right now. Which isn't- which isn't bad, but... We're gonna take the time to transport it. And then if I can empty some of those, I'll just start deleting or- or destroying those boxes if I can. Titanium. What would lead be? I don't think that's rare. I guess we put lead in, like, the medium section. We'll do, like, gold, ion cubes. I think that's okay. Let me turn, uh... Let me turn another... gel sack. Oh. Didn't I grab one? I thought I grabbed one. Okay, let's get some water, because we're about to die. We can- we can eat fish quick. Seek fluid intake immediately. On it. Fuck. This will give us a little bit. Sorry, this is pretty panicky. All right. If I can find some salt, which we're out of as well, that would be cool. Salt or bladderfish is fine.
Oh, hello. Good for the enameled glass. I know there's like a lot of things that uh, we need to try and kind of remember. But I think I'm actually doing okay. Like I'm starting to pick up on a few things that are like the common stuff. I could probably just scan for the salt, but... Here's a tip that well that you'll like. When organizing, all the same items go together, so they'll never be apart. Also, when putting them in, they do go in the order that you place them, so leaving the good items to put in last saves the trouble of knowing what's common or not when you need most important. Uh, yeah, okay. I think the way that we... I, we figured out that they sort automatically. But, uh... I think our current organization kind of works. Captain. At least for me. All systems online. Vital signs stabilizing. Is that right? We're totally going out to check Life Pod 2, guys. I don't... Like, it's happening. It's happening. Frick, water. Like, seriously? Whoops. Okay, so I, I thought I grabbed a gel sack, but I guess I didn't. Uh... Doesn't really matter anyways. Let's put the Stalker Tooth here as well. In our rare bin. And then power-wise, I think we'll hold on to what we have. Yeah, okay. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. I'll put my lubricant in here too. Oh. Wait a sec. We want the lithium because we want another storage module. That's right. That's right. Let's hit that up. And let's stop carrying that thing around. Uh, Numpty Defiler. Thank you so much for the sub. I missed that a little while ago. It says, uh, scan everything. I will. I will. I'm trying my best. Thank you so much for the two months, by the way. It's Foz. Thank you so much for the sub. Brand new. Mademoiselle Danielle gifted a sub to Jolie73. Thank you so much, Mademoiselle. And, uh, Jolie, I hope you enjoy your emotes, buddy. Uh... But Darkane, thank you for the new sub, and Ziminus, thank you so much for the new Prime sub as well. Thank you. Thank you so much, you guys. Incredibly generous today. I appreciate it. Okay. See, I'm all I'm all flustered because of the generosity that's happening. I honestly appreciate you guys. I really do. If I don't catch you right away, it's mostly because I'm like figuring something else out. Okay, so. This is not what I want. This! Oh, that is like... Oh! Does it have two... Are there two separate ones? Oh, look! It builds like a whole separate deal! Alright. That's cool. That's really cool. Alright, I guess we'll keep these batteries and all this other stuff. And then ultimately, like, the hunt for lithium. The hunt for lithium and, uh... Where is it? Where's the Mark II? Seamoth Depth, depth Module. Because the plasteel ingot is the one we need lithium for. 
So we need a bit of lithium, and then we can go even deeper. I'm guessing that'll take us to 400. Let's do a quick repair job while we're here. We're out of batteries. Makes sense. Cool. Ready? I'm ready. Welcome aboard Cal Systems Online. All systems online. I think we're gonna head to... Oh, that is really far. That's fine. You know what? It's probably an area we've never been. It's 500 meters, but I feel like with the new uh, oxygen tank, we could probably make it. And because it's deep, we probably have a good chance of finding lithium as well. So let's give her. Uh, random... What does that say? Random L Gamer says, What up? I followed you since Deus Ex, watching from Argentina. That's so cool, Random L Gamer, and let me tell you why. First, because Deus Ex was awesome. I don't know if you're referring to, like, the original, or if you're referring to, uh, like, Human Revolution. Human Revolution is one of my favorite games I've ever played. Ooh. I mean... Okay. Let's grab this stuff. Uh... I don't think we've been in a coral thing this big before. Human Revolution was one of my favorite games of all time. I loved that game. Like, it's definitely top five. But also, because you're from Argentina, I think I've told this story on, on stream before, but I had a, um, I had a pen pal from Argentina when I was younger. We don't really need the titanium, but... I feel like this is an easy way to farm some basic stuff. I had a pen pal from Argentina. And we wrote for probably a good, like, two years. Probably from, like, grade four till grade, like, well, grade six-ish. And, um... That was a really cool experience, actually. I still remember, like, some of the chats that we used to have. Did you guys ever have pen pals when you were kids? Or even now? Like, I don't know. Some people probably do. I, th I always thought pen pals was such a cool idea. And then, like, email happened, right? And you're like, okay. <laughs> Bro, Cord, are you, are you on your phone while you're flying? Oh, my God. Have a good trip, man. Have fun in Japan, dude. Triactin, you have a pen pal because you're trying to learn another language. Oh, that's cool. That's a good idea, actually. That's actually a really good idea. I should get a French pen pal. <laughs> or I could just go outside. But, I mean, that sucks. Nobody wants to do that. 